Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. I am back with another adult NMC OSCE video for you again and this time is going to be something really interesting and you wanted me to do it for a very long time. Okay, so I have got through to now doing this video so if you like my videos please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel okay so in today's video much awaited we are going to talk about the news charting okay so you have been asking me for a long time uh, on doing a video on how to chart on the news chart correctly because that is the biggest reason for failing OSCE assessment station so if you can master your charting then there is no reason why you shouldn't pass your assessment station okay uh, so we are going to be looking at news charting how to do it simply and correctly okay so I'm going to show you um, each part of the news chart and how to plot on the news chart correctly okay so that's what we're going to be covering in today's video so what is news charting let's talk about that what is news news is national early warning score system okay and why do we use it exactly what it says in the name which is early warning okay so is we are uh, taking patient vitals and we are uh, putting them on the news chart and we are scoring them okay so each vital get a score so we can see if our patient condition is deteriorating the score is going up so it's giving us early warning to do something about our patient condition okay so we can manage it early so it means we can avoid uh, and we can prevent complications for the patient we can um, prevent a patient going into respiratory or cardiac arrest uh, so on my first slide so i already told you what is uh, national early warning score uh, is needs to be completed as part of your assessment station okay so if you get a uh medical surgical or community patient you still complete news chart in your OSCE exam if you get a neurological patient that's the only time you complete gcs chart so most of the time you'll be completing the news chart okay so that's what we're going to go through today so we uh, so it that's what it is so you need to complete it as part of your assessment station uh, need to be completed in green pen so they give you the green pen in exam center okay you don't need to take one they do provide you one in the test center um, and correct completion is critical for passing this station like i already told you majority of the fails in assessment station are because of charting on the news chart so you need to make sure you can master it okay you is absolutely spot on there is no room for error okay you cannot make an error in charting and still expect to pass the station that will not happen because it's a document and its exam is marked by the examiner so you need to make sure is 100 percent correct okay so now we're going to look at the chart and we are going to look at the each part of the chart so as you can see on the screen you can see the full chart and what do we plot on news chart so we plot all the vitals and where are they placed on the news chart so it's a good idea to know how your news chart work where everything is how do you need to plot it so let's look at the first screen so we plot uh, patient details on the top of the chart and then the first thing which goes on the chart is uh, respirations number two is your saturations number three is the box whether your saturations you just taken on your patient are they on air or are they on oxygen so you have to clearly say that if you leave that blank it's a critical fail number four is your blood pressure number five is your heart rate pulse number six you plot the conscious level so that is your patient alertness level on the chart and then uh, comes uh, the next one is the temperature and then you plot uh, the total new score so then you count the total score from top to bottom and add the total score in that box and then you in the box below you have to add the monitoring frequency depending on your total score and then your escalation whether you're going to escalate patient condition to anybody senior in the team or not yes or no and then your initials so that's what you have to do on this new chart correctly or oh, every section has to be done correctly for you to pass okay so now we're going to from next screen we're going to look at every single parameter 
screen by screen, uh, segment by segment and how to plot it. So let's do the first one. So first one is the complete details of the patient on the top section. So that's really important that you complete that and you can take those details from patient uh, admission form which they have given you in assessment station. They already provided you the candidate briefing. So in the candidate briefing form which is your patient history form, it has the patient details. So just write your patient name correctly, date of birth and the date. So date is the given on the front sheet of that document and if he says today then you write in today that day is your exam date but the format you need to use as you can see on the screen I have documented so the format is I just documented as a as example so the date and then slash the month and then the full year so I put 01 slash 12 slash 2023 so that's just the format but you will be adding your exam date okay so if your document says today it is your exam date so add that so that's the first thing you need to do and now we're going to move on to the next screen so now we're going to start plotting our vitals which have we have already done on our on our patient so we're going to plot them on the news chart so first thing is always plot in the first column available on the left okay so always start the chart on the first column on the left hand side okay not anywhere in the middle of the chart no on the right hand side the first column on the left uh, you're going to add your vitals to so the first box as you can see a small box and you're going to add the date this time you don't need to add the year just add the month uh, sorry the day and slash month like I have done uh, as an example so you just add the date uh, sorry day and then slash month don't need to add the year and it all has to fit in that small box they give you very fine tip pen in in exam so you should be able to do it neatly so do it very neatly the day slash month okay that all has to fit in that small box and then next box box is for the time so time is uh, whatever is given in your candidate briefing. So as you can see, I put the candidate briefing a screenshot on your screen and it says 8 o'clock. So you're going to put that time in that box, 8.00. We don't add AM, PM. It has to be 24 hour clock like in digital clock. So just write exactly what is in your candidate briefing. Just put copy that and put it in the box and it all has to fit in that box. No AM, no PM. Just copy what's on there into the box neatly. Has to fit in the box. So that's uh, we our time and date done. So num num now we're going to go on to the next screen. We're going to plot the respiration. So now respirations are plotted with a dot in the correct box. Uh, for example, my patient, I've just done vitals on and the respirations are 19. So I plotted in that box, okay, between 18 to 20 box. I just put, went in there and I put the dot in, okay. So that's my respirations done neatly with a dot, not the number, the dot okay so we've done that uh, next screen now we're going to uh, plot the saturations with a dot in the correct box now so, uh, there is confusion uh, there are two scales okay so there is scale one and scale two now for OSCE you just got to remember you need to use the scale one always use the scale one because scale two is only used for very critically ill respiratory patients who are who could be in respiratory failure so you are not going to get the acutely ill patient who is on intensive care or things like that in your exam so it is going to be you are always 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 going to use scale one because scale two even in cl clinical practice is used under the supervision of a clinician so if your uh, medical team particularly tells you to use scale two that's the only time you use scale 2 in clinical practice otherwise always use scale 1 so in your exam just use scale 1 even if your patient is uh, shortness of breath scenario or uh, asthma pneumonia always use scale 1 do not use scale 2 right so that's that uh, even if your patient is on oxygen you are still going to use scale 1 uh, so next one is uh, we are going to now 
uh, plot on the next screen you can see we are going to plot that the saturations we just plotted so we plotted the saturations on the screen with a dot in the correct box for my patient it was above uh, this uh, 96 so i just put it in that box okay so next we're going to see on the next screen now we need to add if these saturations are on air or on oxygen so obviously if your patient is not wearing any mask or actor not wearing any mask or anything on that day it means they're on air so add the a okay so the capital a in that box to say that your saturations you just taken are on air so write that if you leave that box blank is a critical fail. so add the a now what if your patient was on oxygen so we're going to see that on the next screen so if your patient is your uh, actor on that day wearing a nasal cannula or a simple mask and your scenario says that they are on oxygen uh, so then you need to add that information then your saturations are not on air so you will not be adding a and you will be adding the actual how many liters now how many how do you know how many liters that oxygen is running at you can ask the examiner because the actor won't be actually having oxygen real oxygen so you don't know the flow rate so you ask the examiner examiner can you confirm the flow rate of this oxygen i can see my patient is on oxygen can you confirm the flow rate they will say two liter three liter whatever it is so you add that number like i have added two liters onto my chart and then you need to write the device so if you see them wearing simple mask just put sm if you see the actor is wearing a nasal cannula you can put n okay so that's what you will really see in your exam if they are on oxygen so add the device so make sure you complete this section if your patient is on oxygen if they're on air then you don't need to complete it and you just put a in the box for air uh, on the uh, like I showed you on the last screen right moving on so saturations are done now we're going to move on to the next screen now we're going to plot the blood pressure so blood pressure is plotted systolic with the arrow up diastolic with the arrow down in the correct boxes and then you join it with a dotted line or with a solid line both are fine uh, so that's what you need to do so arrow for up for systolic arrow down for diastolic as you can see on the screen join a with a solid line meeting two points or the dotted line both are fine so plot it that way and then you need to make sure for scoring we only look at the systolic blood pressure we ignore the diastolic even though we plot the diastolic on the chart for scoring purpose only look at systolic even your chart is telling you if you look at the small handwriting which i have highlighted for you on the screen you can see it's only the systolic blood pressure they're saying only score for systolic bp okay not the diastolic so just the systolic right so that's that moving on to the next screen then uh, we are going to look at the heart rate so it's added with a dot in the correct box please add the dot in the correct box and keep your dots within the boxes don't touch the lines just keep it in the correct box just put it into the box right so that's that heart rate done number uh, next one now uh, we are going to plot the consciousness level okay so that's your patient alertness level obviously you would have checked with your patient uh, whether they are in, in a to e assessment whether they are alert or they're confused so you're going to put that so that is plotted with a dot not with a if your patient is alert please do not put a in that box that would be a mistake so you is plotted with a dot so if your patient is alert put the uh, dot in the alert box okay now your chart if you look carefully is telling you only chart somebody confused on the news chart if he's of, of acute onset so chart is telling you to do, do the right thing so don't confuse yourself so it means you can o you should only put acute onset confusion on there if the confusion is chronic like say in your alzheimer scenario the patient is got dementia but it's a chronic condition it's not a acute disease okay it's not acutely onset so you will still chart your alzheimer patient alert on the news chart you listen to me again okay you've been asking me this question very long time so i'm answering again now for alzheimer's scenario your patient has got episodes of confusion but that is a chronic confusion for for news purpose you're still going to chart the patient alert okay because your chart is telling you only chart confusion if it's of acute onset not chronic 
okay so chart is telling you to write do the right thing but most people don't read the small handwriting so i'm pointing it out to you right so that's that so next we're gonna move on to plot the temperature so you just look at the next screen so plot the temperature with a dot in the correct box and keep your dots again within the box not touching the line okay so just keep it within the box so that's done uh, and now we're going to go to next screen and we are going to do our total new score so as you can see for my patient uh, they have not scored in any element so if you look at the respirations they are in the white and then you move on to saturation they are fine um, my i plotted my patient saturation on air in this example so absolutely fine zero score for that if your patient was oxygen then they automatically score two but my patient i have not plotted on oxygen i plotted on air so it's zero and then my blood pressure is scoring zero heart rate is scoring zero patient is alert so that's zero patient temperature is fine that's zero and so my total new score is zero so i will always say uh, total the score using uh, starting from top systematically coming all the way down so you don't miss any element okay so start from top coming down and my total score is zero okay which can be in your exam uh, so that's absolutely fine so the total score is zero so i add that into the total score box now next screen we're going to write the monitoring frequency now for this you need to revise your news policy because the monitoring frequency depends on the news policy but we know for if the score is zero we can do 12 hour leops on our patient is absolutely fine so that's what news policy tells us so we're going to write 12 h capital h and capital r but try to fit in that box okay so always keep it within box so you don't need to write the whole word hourly because they will never fit neatly so put your monitoring frequency and then HR, HR mean hour, okay, capital H, capital R. So I added 12 HR onto that box. So that's your monitoring frequency done. Uh, and then the next screen is about escalation. So next box is escalation. So if, it's, if the score is zero, I do not need to escalate to anyone because that's what my news policy tells me. So I would uh, just keep the patient on routine observations every 12 hours. So I don't need to escalate. So I will put N. If the score is more than zero, you always put Y, okay? Any score more than zero, you have to escalate, okay? So you put uh, Y in A. Only score of zero, you need add N. Any score more than zero, total score, you always put Y. Yes, you have to escalate as per news policy, okay? So you need to learn your news policy. Uh, then the next one is your initials. So just add your initials in that box and your news charting is done okay so that's and i'm going to show you on the next screen a full complete chart completed example so you can see we just completed it now uh, and uh, you know you may get score of zero you may get score of more it really depends what is your vitals on that patient on the actor that day because you'll be doing real time vitals and you'll be plotting them in real time so you will count your new score in real time as well so uh, and uh, that's how you need to do the news charting neatly simply i hope you like the explanation and it makes it a bit clearer for you how to chart on news chart correctly okay uh, my top tips um top tips are not many you just need to make sure that uh, you are keeping it neat and tidy okay so that's the main thing and make sure you add patient details and make sure you do not forget to sign the chart at the bottom at your initials i hope you like the video if you do like the video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com and also email us for more um, information on our uh, adult oski training on uh, uh, oskinastraining at outlook.com i will soon be back for with another videos video for you so bye for now